We live in a first generation in history that is publicly trying to destroy masculine men, that which is trying to rid us of our masculine power, our masculine essence, and make us feminine, make us weak, make us slaves to our emotions. This is how you fight that battle. This is how you become a modern day gentleman. How do you create the routines, the style, the elegance, the persona, the personality, the morals of somebody who is masculine and strong, somebody that will prosper in this world, raise a beautiful family and have a beautiful life. So this is the guidebook to becoming a modern day gentleman. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Welcome back boys. Welcome to my definitive guide on becoming a modern gentleman. Uh, walking the righteous path through hell because life for a man is suffering and becoming a modern gentleman is the way to alleviate that suffering not only for yourself but for others and to actually cherish the suffering of life and become a good man, a righteous man that protects and provides for others which I believe is the, the goal of all of us and certainly my goal, my largest goal in life is to become that man so this is exactly how I think that happens. Why does the gentleman matter now? That's a very important question. We live in a cheap world, a world that lacks really any substance or class. It is a generation that is being raised with no backbone. The modern gentleman is different. He is the knight in shining armor. He is the glimmer of hope in a dystopian future. He is the man that changes generational curses for his family. He smokes cigars. He travels the world. He has a bloody good time. He lives that life of freedom and he looks after the people that he cares about. And he is that glimmer of hope in the world. He is that man that can stand by himself and do his own thing. I've put together a gentleman's code based on the Bushido code, which if you don't know, I'm going to run you through it now. It's the way of the ancient samurai. And I think a lot of these codes and ways of living are, are absolutely essential to happiness and fulfillment in life as a man. And they are the exact things that the modern world tried to, tries to take away from you. They tried to make a joke out of spirituality and codes of conduct and instead turn guys into these weak weak people i mean when are you ever taught the bushido code i'm going to run you through the bushido code now and you will understand why it absolutely makes a formidable man and you think to yourself well why isn't that taught in schools and that's because they don't want you becoming this man they need you a weak consumer these men win always it is the righteous path for any man and it is built off seven virtues i'm going to teach them to you now and you can use them in the modern day obviously we're not samurais but we can use them in the modern day to become the gentleman we need to be. And this is the very start. This is the, the way of thinking. A gentleman starts as a way, of, a way of thinking and then we put the actions in. So number one, righteousness. Righteousness means to have justice. It means to be a fair man, to not lie or steal. Justice means that you are going to do the right thing, that you have a, a moral code of right and wrong. Very important for any man. That's number one. Number two is loyalty. Without loyalty, you, you have such a lonely existence in the world if, you, if you're not loyal to anyone and no one's loyal to you. Yes, maybe sometimes there's times to profit off stabbing someone in the back, but in the end it always fails because you end up lonely and miserable. So you absolutely need to be loyal. You need to be a loyal friend and you need loyal friends around you. And if you don't have them, you need to separate yourself and you should have very strict rules in your life around who is in your circle. And if they are not loyal to you, they have to absolutely go. Number three is honor. A life without honor is not a life. That is so true. And the samurais took it quite far. If they made a mistake, they would commit suicide. And I'm not, I'm not saying that any of you should do that. That is, that is very intense. But you should live with honor. Sometimes in life, there are things that you can do or not do. And nobody would know about it. But because you are living a life of honor, you do them. Maybe you look out for somebody that is in a spot of trouble. Or recently I watched the movie 14 Peaks about a guy who climbs 14 of the highest peaks. Never been done before in less than seven years. It takes seven years to climb all 14. He does them in six months. And he's got oxygen tank on. He's 8,000 meters up and he finds a guy who's, who's run out of oxygen. He gives him his own oxygen. He stays with him on the mountain the whole time. He can't get him down, but he, he doesn't leave him behind. And unfortunately, the guy goes through his whole oxygen tank and he's got no oxygen left. And he stays there with the guy and the guy, the guy can't get down. He dies and he, died, and he dies in his arms and he comforts this man and he risks his own life before climbing down that mountain. That is a life of honor. That is when he, he makes it down, luckily, very closely, nearly dies, but makes it down. But that is the difference in a life with or without honor. He didn't need to stay with that man. And that man was dead anyway, but he lived with honor. And now he can live with himself for his life because he knows he did everything he could. That is a life of honor. That is how it's represented. When there's things you don't have to do, but the honourable man would. 
and that's a very good way to live. Number four is respect. You must respect your enemies, you must respect yourself, you must respect other people. Very, very simple. Honesty, you must never lie. Don't lie to yourself and don't lie to others. Deception does not exist in the book of a samurai. You must be an honest man. Everything comes out in the end and just know that. So if you've made a habit of lying, make a habit of being truthful. In all endeavours, you do not need to lie. Courage. A man must show courage on a regular basis. I think one of the largest feelings of well-being for a man is when you show courage to yourself and you have a situation that maybe a few years ago you would have backed away from and you stand up for yourself, you stand up for somebody else. Samurais are not afraid of death and neither is the modern gentleman. The modern gentleman has courage through and through and he will do things even if he's scared. And consistency, so important. You must have consistency. You must find something you want to do and consistently work towards it. This will give you great fulfillment and, and following all of these seven virtues, these codes will make you internally fulfilled and happy with yourself as a man. And the, a lot of the main struggles is people deep down, they're not happy with themselves and that causes them to be nasty or abusive to other people. So you must first solve the problems inside yourself and be happy with who you are as a man and you'll become a much better leader, you'll become a much better person. In order to be righteous, you must be strong. It's another part of being a gentleman. A gentleman couldn't be weak. You can't have. You, you can't be weak and be righteous. As, as Jordan Peterson says this a lot, you can't be the weak man. You, you don't have the decision. You, you can't say, oh, I'm not going around beating people up and being horrible and powerful and manipulative if you're weak because you didn't have the ability to do it. You must have the ability to inflict pain, to inflict damage and atrocious acts and not do it. That is righteous. You must be strong to be righteous. You must have the ability to do bad you must have power and then use it correctly and the way to do this is you must harden the body and the mind with pain so the first step is you must become physically powerful which involves gym training you need to get yourself in the gym once you've got a bit of a body once you start to build some muscle you need power in combat you need to be a formidable opponent and the step three is knowledge of weapons and war strategy you need to be a dangerous human being and use it to protect others you need to be able to inviscerate your enemies and show mercy that is being a righteous man and that is a key of the modern gentleman. The modern gentleman has a duty to provide to others. There is no nobility in poverty, as Jordan Belfort says in The Wolf of Wall Street. You must be a rich man and you must use it to look after the world. There's so much you can do once you've got money. Being rich is not a bad thing at all. It's, it's, it's absolutely not bad for you. Being obsessed with wealth and obsessed with acquiring money and being greedy is a sin. But acquiring wealth and sharing it and providing for others and building homes in, and, and clean water supplies in Africa and providing schools and education and looking after your family or providing a hospital treatment for your dying aunt, that is 100% what you should aim to do as a man. That is going to provide huge fulfillment in your life and make you a modern gentleman. So if you are at a point where you just have, have nothing, n not two pennies to rub together and not been in that situation, you need to have a look at yourself, sit down and just... Stop for a minute and take life seriously and say, look, okay, this is, I, I need to align with these values and become the man I want to become. And the first thing I did was I, I did that. I sat down and said, look, I'm not messing around anymore. It's easy to make enough money to just go out every weekend and get drunk with your friends and buy a pizza here and there and live a life of comfort and some weed. That's easy. And that's just not taking life seriously. You need to sit down. And I had a serious talk myself. I said, Jack, look, you've had your fun. You need to take life seriously because there's people out there that are not capable of doing what you can do and you need to provide for others. Number two, create a plan. I sat down and I said, all right, well, I can't keep hold of any money. I'm, I'm spending on stupid things and I'm not keeping hold of any of my nine to five paycheck. So I read the book, Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. I recommend you read it and I created a financial plan and I saved up my first $10,000. My plan after that was I wanted to get online. I wanted to move somewhere hot, somewhere with a good climate where I'd be a little bit different and I wanted to move to a foreign country with my 10 grand and I'd start an online business and I just that was the first part of my plan I didn't have much else planned I was in good shape so I started online personal training bang and I executed and I moved to Thailand step number four I was in the right place right time and I networked absolutely essential and I networked and a network can create incredible opportunities for you you need the right people around you so you don't need to know everything i didn't know everything when i came to thailand but these are the steps you need very simple but you can do it take life seriously create a plan execute on that plan and then network find the people know who you're looking for find people with the same ideas and the same codes as you 
if you want a group of six and seven figure entrepreneurs and you want to be part of a network like that, a gentleman's club, this is the exact mindset that we drill into the guys in the new elite. This is what it's for. It is so guys don't have to do what I did. Wait an entire year, spending all your money, going broke. We're, we've put the network together. So once you've executed and created your plan, you can then network with the guys that are already doing it and improve your life and 10x your results. That's what we're doing. So the new elite link is down below. If you join, DM me on the Telegram. Absolute pleasure to, to welcome you to the Gentleman's Club. But moving on, here we go. Hero needs an organization. This is our Gentleman's Club. Guys getting together, helping each other out all around the world. You need men above you to protect, to advise you which paths to follow, to give you power when you're weak and to deliver you from evil. So there you go. There's just a little snapshot into our Gentleman's Club. The routine, the gentleman knows, and you should know as a man, that every day is war. And that is why I think it's essential for the gentleman to dress well, to make sure he's well-groomed, to dress well, says me wearing a bloody t-shirt, idiot. But I think it's very important when you are going about your life that you take pride in everything that you do, that you have this routine, that you wake up early, you get your workout in, you do your combat, you wear the right clothes, you look good, you have a sense of style and fashion. Because when you open that door, you are ready for battle. When you're wearing that suit, when you're well-groomed, when you go out into the real world, then you know that you are ready for war. You know that you can do the things you need to do and you have confidence and you build that certainty in your life. Here's an example of the gentleman's routine. This is what life could look like for you. As a modern day gentleman, this is often what my life has looked like on the, on the way here. 6 a.m. wake up, gym or combat, depending on the day, it's got to be done. Go to a nice gym, shower, steam sauna. You're already feeling great. 8, 8 a.m., you've done all of that. You're feeling fantastic. You're dressed, you're fully groomed, you're looking good. Have your coffee, your deep work, you get some stuff done. Ribeye steak with eggs for breakfast. All your work complete. Boom. 3 p.m. You've organized a little date with a hot little ting. Boom. Go through. Nice date with her. Back to the hotel room. Doing what Bond does best. Fall asleep for a minute. Wake up. 6, 6 p.m. Oh, shit. I've got a meeting at a gentleman's club. Say goodbye to her. Get out of there. Enter the gentleman's club. You talk business. Evading enemies. Putting the world right. 11 p.m. Back to the penthouse. Tomorrow's suit is out and ready. And the gentleman has dominated the day again. Your life should be exciting, boys. The, the, the aim of life is not inactivity. The aim of life is not that holiday and margaritas on the beach. The aim of life is to live a life of excitement and freedom every single day. A life that you're, you fucking can't wait to get out of bed for. That is, that is what life is all about. It's not about working your whole life to then fucking retire and sit on a beach old with your best years behind you. That is not what life's about. The modern gentleman takes advantage of the life right now. Style... Just a quick one on style, boys. Quality goes a long way. I've had trouble for years doing this. I always buy cheap and you end up buying twice. You are much better to invest in really good quality clothing that you look great in. You don't need to have the Louis Vuitton. You don't need the logos and stuff. You can just have plain high quality clothing. And the, the gentleman lives by the essence of quality over quantity. He's got just those few things that he can put together and he looks incredible. You've got to have that style and grace. It will massively help you. Colors, brands and fits, as I've just said, you don't need fluorescent colours. You you can keep it subtle. Look at Tristan Tristan Tate, Satorial, Jay Waller, Iman Gadzi. They dress classy as fuck. I'm I'm trying to get there. If you check out my Instagram, I'm I'm slowly getting that styled as well. But they look absolutely incredible, and it, it gives them an air of respect. And you know that these guys are absolutely bossing it in all areas of life. So boys, that is how to become the modern gentleman, and it's absolutely essential that you do because the modern gentleman is the hero. He, you, you become the hero in your family. You become the guy that changes generational curses. You become the guy that bestows money and, and wealth upon your family. You become everybody's beacon of hope. And that is the most beautiful thing. When you see other people changing their lives because they've seen what you've done. So don't tell them. Just become this man and others will follow. And you can be that man inside. If you want that respect, and I think every man does, respect inside your household. Becoming the modern gentleman is the way to do that. Living by these codes of honour, changing your life and looking after the people around you and you will be respected as a man in your family. So boys, that is all. It's been an absolute pleasure and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Whoopah, whoopah!